So here you have a quick sketch of the proper proportions and angulation of a Dogo Argentino. This rectangle represents the dimensions of the length being 110% of the height being 100%. So for example, if the height is 24 inches, the length from the point of the shoulder to the point of the buttocks would be 26.4 inches. You can tell that the angulation in the rear is a bit uh, a bit bigger of an angle if you're measuring that angle than this. Uh, I would say that this is probably in the range of about 100 degrees of angulation there and this one is probably in the uh, 130 degree area. You always want the legs to be perpendicular to the ground which would be a 90 degree angle perpendicular and you see that except for of course there's a little bit of an inclination in the uh, pastern uh, length of the tail comes about to the hock mm, the underline comes just below the elbows and then there's a slight tuck up and the top line the highest point of the top line would be the withers right there if I did my math correctly uh, assuming that you have 90 degrees here and 130 here this angle would be 135, 135 degrees, and the extension of the middle leg would put you at a 45 degree angle from the ground, approximately. None of these are, are exact because I'm doing it off of a drawing that I'm just guesstimating on, uh, but the drawing is of a representation, a great representation of the breed, and it is structured that way. So, uh, and then it is based off of the drawing, but also the the givens of 110%, the, the length of the body being about 10% longer than tall. And then what it is also based on the given of the shoulder an upper arm being equal lengths and also the forearm being equal lengths of those bones uh, and then it also is going by the estimation that the length of the upper thigh and the middle or, or the calf or however you would prefer to, to call it the middle thigh they are also the same length and that's where you get those numbers so again to recap 110% is the length, 10% longer than the height. Um, you have 90 degrees to the parallel of the ground uh, for the front legs and the hocks. Um, you have approximately, if you go with this portion of the, the direction, you, you have, I would say, about 100 degrees again 100 degrees from the parallel for the pastern um, so you have a moderately angulated dog both front and rear very balanced and harmonious uh, and when you have a build like this you will have good movement uh, assuming that when you're looking from the back you see parallel from from the, the points of the hip bone at the back down to the hock and down to the foot. If those are in line, you have good propulsion 
and then in the front also, if you've got the shoulder, the point of the shoulder, the, the withers part of the shoulder, the elbows, the pastern, and the feet, all in parallel, you have a pretty well-built dogo. To focus a little bit on the head, um, this should give you an approximate idea of the proportions of the head. Uh, I didn't do too much measuring when I did it, but I, I've seen enough of them to, to get a good idea. I'm going to erase the ear so we can talk a little bit more about the proportions of the head um, and then draw back in the top of the head just so we can see it. Uh, when you're talking about the proportions of the Dogo Argentino head, the occiput, which is very difficult to see again because of the musculature, um, would be the extreme end. And then the tip of the muzzle, which is actually the bone inside behind the skin, would be the, the end. But then when you're looking for the middle, you're not looking at the stop. The stop is not the center line when we talk about uh, a 50 50 proportions, or you may have seen one to one proportions. That is not the center. If you feel there is a, a bone that, that comes out like that, um, and it's the orbital bone, uh, and that is the center. That is where you would be measuring your 50 50 from.